After a failed first flight, SpaceX has worked day and night to perfect the Starship launch system and is now finally ready for its second attempt. Can the space giant pull it off, or will it be another failed attempt? Let's find out. Starship's Second Attempt SpaceX's failure for the first launch was disappointing for a lot of folks. However, instead of giving up, SpaceX engineers went back to the drawing board and fixed everything that went wrong for a second attempt. The integrated test flight of Ship 24 and Booster 7 created a rock tornado at the engine and mission, which ended up blasting the Stage Zero. Naturally, the crew has been forced on repairing the launch mount and making it functional again. The aerospace company has made over 1,000 upgrades to the rockets themselves as well. For starters, SpaceX has swapped out the hydronic thrust vector controls for the electric thrust ones on the Booster 9. SpaceX has also made a few changes to the liftoff phase. Instead of gradually ramping up the Raptor thrust on the pad, this time the crew will be throttling up faster. Doing so will help reduce the liftoff time and reduce the damage to the pad. What's more, a close examination of the booster reveals that SpaceX has swapped out the smaller set of aerodynamic chines for new cylinder metal tanks. SpaceX will also be firing up its upper stage engines before shutting down all the booster engines as part of a process called hot staging. This will ensure continuous thrust during the ascent. A new water deluge system SpaceX has also installed a brand new water deluge system as part of the recent changes. Pad crews have been working around the clock to get the new system up and running. The main central system was installed first with the manifold supplying the water soon after. The water-cooled steel plate system will shoot water jets upwards towards the engine. Three of the manifolds are located on the west and south sides of the central plate under the orbital launch plate. SpaceX has also laid down pipes connecting the manifolds to the ground storage tanks on the other side of the Starship launch tower. There are the two main water pipes going to the three manifolds, one divides in two near the orbital launch mount and oversees the supply of the two of the manifolds while the third pipe supplies the remaining one manifold. SpaceX hopes to reduce the damage to the launch site during the next launch with the newly installed deluge system. The company has also installed two water tanks that will more double the water supply of the deluge system to rule out any potential damages. The water system is currently undergoing testing at the company's rocket development facility in McGregor, Texas, and the first test carried out on July 13th focused on purging the pressure and water pipes. The second one followed soon after on July 14th was a little more extensive. Seven tests were carried out of the OLM Raptor Quick Disconnects. These disconnects are crucial for starting the outer 20 engines on the Super Heavy. On July 17th, the crew conducted another test of the system. This time, water successfully flowed through the pipes and reached the steel plate under the OLM. As far as the full-scale test is concerned, SpaceX will likely not be performing one until the static fire test for the Booster 9, which is expected to happen really soon. The booster has already been rolled into the Highway 4 from the Mega Bay. Ship 25 ready for launch Meanwhile, Ship 25 has been moved to the suborbital launch mount. The rocket is scheduled for a statistic fire test campaign where all the six Raptor engines will be fired and tested. Ship 25 has already cleared the cryo testing phase, which was carried out on the masses testing facility. Unlike the Booster 9, Ship 24 has not received significant upgrades and it's almost the same as Ship 23. Unfortunately, it will be a while before we see the Booster 9 and the Ship 25 in action. SpaceX will focus on completing the repairs and then move on to the statistic test campaign for Booster 9. Once it's cleared, the company will then proceed with the integration of the Booster 9 with Ship 25. SpaceX is focusing on perfecting this part of the process because once it does, the Space Giant will be able to expedite the launch of each other vehicles, Booster 10 through 12, are ready for launch with only the Raptor engine installation to go. Meanwhile, Booster 13 through 16 are in the early phases of construction and should be up and running in no time. On the other hand, ships 25 and 29 are almost ready to go, as well as the other ships like ship 35 are in the stacking phase. Needless to say, SpaceX only needs to iron out the kinks and launch system before moving on to the back-to-back -back launches. And that's all for today. Do you think SpaceX can do the impossible? Let us know in the comments section down below. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our channel for more updates about SpaceX. Until next time, goodbye.